Yeah, I want to talk about the void operator, which is something that used to be fairly common in JavaScript. You'd see it when people were embedding JavaScript in the HTML, but you don't see as much anymore. But it still has its place. So the void operator, um, so I have an HTML file here with a JavaScript file attached to it. And the void operator looks kind of like this. The Parentheses around here are optional, but it's encouraged that you use them. This works very much like a function, the difference being that this will return nothing at all. So a function, if I created one here, if I do not put a return statement inside here, the function will still return the value undefined. So if I was to write inside my code, let abc equal x, this is going to execute the function x. And if I don't have a return statement in here, let's say all I'm doing is setting a variable equal to a number. And that's all that I'm doing. Because there's no return statement here, the function will by default return undefined. So abc is going to hold the value undefined. Void will evaluate whatever expression I put inside the parentheses here, but it will return nothing for us. So I can comment out all this, we're not using that. Inside here, I could do something as simple as a console log statement. So we'll say sample void like that. Okay, there we are. And then I will jump over to my browser. Here's my page, I run it. And there we go, the sample void ran and nothing was returned from that. So this may not seem like there's a lot of value inside here, but what it does open up is an interesting opportunity. In your web pages, when you've got anchor tags, we can use add event listener to add an event, a click event to the anchor, and then you have to say prevent default to stop it from actually following the link. Or if you want to embed something in the actual HTML, something that's becoming a little bit more common uh, with working with things like React where you're generating with JSX your content, you're building your elements and adding attributes. Here I am saying that I'm going to run some JavaScript when the person clicks on this tag. That's what the href, the hyper reference is pointing to the JavaScript protocol and we could put something inside of here, some script to run, but if we wrap it inside of void now, what we have is an opportunity to type some code in here to have an expression that's going to be evaluated when the user clicks on this anchor tag, but it doesn't return anything, which means the anchor tag doesn't take you anywhere. Very useful. So this could be something like console.log again, sample from the link. There we are. Save that, come back, refresh the page. Now, when I click this, there we are, sample from the link. This is running, and every time I click it, it's going to update the number because it's calling it again and again and again. So that's what it's used for. This is the most common use case for the void operator. Putting it inside the href attribute from an anchor tag, make sure you don't forget to put the JavaScript protocol in front of it, but it gives you the opportunity to run a JavaScript expression. This could be multiple lines of code. Um, this is actually how people used to create a thing called bookmarklets. If you were on the web page, you could right-click on this and save the link as. So you could create um, favorites. You could create little bookmarks to scripts. And then you could be on any web page whatsoever, click on the, the link, and because it was wrapped inside of a void, it wouldn't replace the current contents with the result of that script. It would just run the script the script could do things to the current page. So if you wanted to have a little bookmarklet that maybe changed the styles on a page, you could write the JavaScript to do that, wrap it inside the parentheses and call the void operator on it. And now this little favorite, this little bookmark that you've got, when you click on it, it affected whatever the current page was. So you could update the fonts or update the colors that were on any web page that you were currently on. All right, so that's the void operator. Thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments.